Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. We don't have a lot of these left. Uh, really, I think there's four days that I'm going to be posting new stuff today and Wednesday, and then next week, Monday and Wednesday. And then you have the rest of the year basically to get everything caught up and done, uh, all your assignments turned in. So today we're going to finish up our discussion on gravity. Uh, so I've added a few slides to the notes. So if you already got the notes copied down, you'll want to go back and uh, get any information that's in these slides. I think there's only one, one or two more slides. They actually have to write something down here. But you'll want to get them in your notes so that you can use them on our quiz, which will be coming up on Wednesday. Wednesday, you'll have a quiz over this whole section of gravity. For that quiz, I recommend you go back and re-watch these videos that I've been doing the last couple weeks uh, to do that quiz. And you remember that you can watch these during the quiz and you can do internet research during the quiz. So uh, take your time on the quiz when we do it next week. Well, we've talked about just taking objects and dropping them and how gravity affects them. We've mentioned how if you get rid of air resistance and you drop two objects at the same time, even if it's a bowling ball and a feather, they're going to fall at the same speed because there's no air resistance to keep them from doing so. But now I'm going to throw one more curveball at you. Let's say that you are shooting an object straight out. So you have a gun or a cannon or you're throwing something in a straight line this way, not up, not shooting down because that changes the equation. But you're shooting in a straight line this way, or I guess in this picture it's, oh no, I was right that time, this way. And at the same time as you shoot something this way, you drop an object. The question is, what's going to happen? Which one will hit first? Will the object that you drop hit first, or will the object that you shoot in a straight line hit the ground first? So here you can see I have a picture of a cannon off a cliff to sort of give this, uh, this example here. And I'm going to sort of redraw it here. So here is your cliff. Here is your cannon. We'll say the ground is here. Okay, and you fire that cannon, you have a little thing there, a little fuse. You fire the cannon. Now we're going to say this is shooting straight. Right now it looks like it's shooting out. We're going to say it's shooting perfectly straight out like, like this. Okay, now when you shoot an object, obviously it's going to go in an arc, right? You shoot it straight, and since gravity is also pulling on it, it's moving this way, but at the same time, gravity's pulling it down, and so you get an arc like that, some distance away. The more powerful the cannon, the further that bolt, that cannonball will go. Let's say that at the exact same time, you shoot this cannonball, and from the exact same height, you drop a cannonball straight down. So you shoot and you drop at the same time. Again, which one do you think would hit first? I want you to think about this a little bit and think which one would hit first. Now, after, as you've thought about it, I want you to, I want you to, this video is going to end and there's a YouTube video that I'm posting where they have a little launcher that will shoot something this way and it will drop something at the same time. I want you to watch that YouTube video and then come back and watch part two of the video that I'm posting today. So I'll have a, you'll watch this, then a YouTube video, and then you'll come back and watch another video from me. Okay, so go check out that YouTube video.